Hey, what's up? On my last video that I did about building a computer, you would know a little bit more about this. Um, sorry for the low quality of that video, and I don't know why it was still in the corner, but I guess it just was. But so let's start. Let's get. Let's just get started today. I may, I'm making this video to be able to show you guys more into the a uh, review quick on the computer and some other cool stuff for how a death for a desktop lookup because I like to use your guys' opinions to help me decide on things a little bit better. So far I'm going through a lot like sixty three items in my wish list are a bunch of things that I'm gonna get that I wanna get. So you see there's my airsoft um going a little bit farther you got you got some more stuff. Um I'm playing with a GoPro that would be fun, won't you? Wouldn't it? Um, this is a. I'm planning on getting a couple of these things to be able to help me with my laptop. Um, these smaller things. I'm gonna get Fallout 4 playing on it, and then we can play it together. And Fallout Anthology, I'll do an unboxing of that. Truly really isn't very much of an unboxing, but it'll still be pretty cool. Because I didn't get to see all those games. Um, I'll play Star Wars Battlefront with you guys, that'll be pretty fun. Um, I, I want to get a CPU cooler, okay? Is this, now this is, this is sort of one of the questions I came up with. It's this Corsair Hydro Series H100i GTX High Performance Liquid CPU Cooler, and my question is, is it a CPU cooler that it has to run with liquid, or is it just a regular CPU cooler? Okay? Um, I'll buy a black house today, we can play that together. Um, I'm putting a one foot cable and connect it to a Roxio so I have a little bit better of a capturing. Then I'm going to get a DJ system just for the fun of it. Maybe some of this, some of that. Here's some other things. I'm going to put this under my desk so I have more USB ports. Here we go. Here's a long, Here's one of the parts of it. How about a long gaming desktop? I need. I want something red and black as a gaming desk pad. And it has to be long so it can get the mouse and the keyboard. Now it can't be it can't be any longer by two twenty seven point five times fifteen point five and it's at ten dollars right now. So here's your guys' question is if you can figure out one that's a, that costs less and still looks better and is longer and costs less, yeah. Oh uh, I got some other stuff. Here we go, gaming chair. Um so what I wanted was a gaming chair as a gaming chair it was it could either be red and black or blue and black. And, or sometimes even green and yellow if there's more green than there is yellow because I'm a Packers fan so you know maybe even black and yellow because Hawkeyes I'm a Hawkeyes fan too but um it has to be something like that and it has to be a swivel chair not only that but it has to be a desk chair it has to be able to have arms on the side and it has to be extremely comfortable and if it involves stuff like sound, or it has audio with sound, then that would be awesome. And if it has something like maybe even a leg rest, that would be awesome too. But it needs to be something pretty good for a chair that I can... And it has to be able to have the back, to be in the back part, to be able to go back and forth. This has... This has almost it all. It has a leather office chair, it's in a leather office chair style, swivel chair. And so it's a chair on it's a racing style swivel chair, computer desk, lumbar support chair, napping chair. So the back can go backwards, the armrest can go up and down, and I have armrests, that's great. It's extremely comfortable, it's red and black, and it's a swivel chair. So it's $193. So comment guys if you can find something better than that that is, has the same qualities, because that would be awesome. Now, I've never owned a webcam before, and I need a webcam. I want and need a webcam. So, because if you've seen my webcam, it is really, it's not it's not good at all. Okay, so, um, it has to be able to be a really good webcam, like a really fast, good running webcam. If you know that channel PewDiePie, it has to be a webcam like that. I'm not paying for a $200 webcam, though. I'm just asking for an inexpensive webcam that is pretty good, and it can work with my computer. Um, I'm planning on buying the camera to watch things. Uh, here's here's a nice desk setup piece. Um, I need four LED strips at the least, and it needs to be able to change colors by my my command, probably with the remote. 
or at least a phone. And they can't be too long, okay? They just, they just can't be, but they have to be a nice set, a set, and they can't be like hooked up to a big old churner. So if you guys can think of something better than twenty eight dollars, just allow us four strips, and I can control it by remote or my phone and with different LEDs. Go for it. Try. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you can't find anything better than that, but I need a 3.5 millimeter jack splitter. You can probably find something better than that. This is what a microphone. Now, if any of you own this, tell me how good it works, because I can't find anybody that owns this. So, I need to be a professional condenser sound microphone with stand for PC, laptop, Skype, recording black. I have to get really good audio out of it, because my audio isn't very good, and... It needs to have 3.5 millimeters or USB, and it needs to have a condenser on it so it can make it sound better. And it has to have a stand. I'm not going to hold it the whole time, you know, because who wants to hold it the whole time? Um, the, um, I'm getting a Sage Ericol headset bracket stand holder that have two colors to choose from. I'm probably going to get a red one, or no, probably a blue one. Red, now we we'll go with red and black. We we'll go with my desk. Blue and black would we'll go with the headphones. So you know, pretty good. If you, if you can find better speakers, tell me. I need better speakers. I need really good speakers. Audio is really awesome and important to me. So so far, I have a twenty-five dollar Logitech multimedia speakers Z two hundred with stereo sound for multiple devices and it had, and it's black and white. Now I don't want it to be white and black. Please don't make it white and black. Can at least bleed more black than is white, because I like darkness. And so, it needs to be loud. It needs to be, have really good quality, like really loud sound at least. And it needs to be be able to hook up with the, to a computer. I don't know if this can. You should. Have, if you guys have any of this, you should, you should tell me if it can or not, because it's probably gonna need. Because I I can see a headphone jack in there, but I don't know if that's actually a headphone jack. But so yeah, um. If you guys can find a better controller, please, but it's a SteelSeries Stratus XL wireless gaming controller. You guys can find a better controller, probably. But here's the difference. It needs to be a good controller, like, it needs to be one like a P PlayStation controller or an Xbox controller, because those are awesome. And it needs to have it be wireless, because I don't want these wires hanging around my desk. I want it to be neat and tidy, so, yeah. Um, this is the blue and black headset. It's this $18 Sage SA Z708 stereo gaming headset, headphone headset with microphone, and it's blue. I heard it was really good because my friend owned it, and he doesn't own it anymore because he ended up buying a Turtle Beach and decided to get rid of his Sage. But I heard it was a really good headset, and I, I'm not in the mood for buying a $100 Turtle Beach headset, so. Tell me if you can find a headset that's that low of cost and that low of quality. Um, I don't know why I have a mouse pad on here. I probably just feel like I do, but this is a Red Dragon mouse pad. I don't know why I have it on here, but, you know, I guess I do. Because if I already have a little one, that's pretty good. Tell me if you can find one better. Just tell me. A Red Dragon S101 uh, Very Gaming Keyboard Centrist USB Gaming Mouse Keyboard Set. And... I don't know if it's wired or if it's wireless, but please tell me whether or not it is or not, because it would be awesome to know. And it needs to be a really good gaming keyboard. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want a gaming keyboard? Like, please. Um, I didn't include this in the last video because I missed it, but I have a white till I have a white terabyte. Or terabyte. I like to say terabyte. I don't know why I keep on saying terabyte, but I have a white label one terabyte, 64 mil, uh, megabytes cache for desktop hard drive. And at one point, I might need more than that, but who cares? I'll add it and I'll add it and I'll add it. But probably I'll end up getting a three terabyte if I have the money, so I don't have to keep on buying a bunch of less ones. I can have the most storage available. I'm pretty sure you guys are don't understand this, but it's a 50 foot network ethernet cable and it's blue I don't care whether or not what color it is because it's going to be down into my house but no one understands why I had this wait here's the problem with my room 
my computer setup, which is going to be in my room, and it is right now, and I have really good um, internet because, you know, no one's using the internet except for me right now. Here's my problem. My internet box, my modem, is in my living room. That is 50 feet away. From, that is, like, 40 or 30 feet away from me, and I... And I, I experienced low quality internet when I'm doing streaming. I did that once. I was a pretty bare, terrible stream, but who cares? I want as best internet as I can, but I experienced some low quality internet service when I was out here, so I tried going to my living room, and I don't want to sit in my living room and try to be hooking up to the modem, so I'm buying a 50 foot long cable that'll go under, that I can stick under my house. It'll come up, it'll go under my house from the internet modem all the way over here to come out into my room and plug into my computer. I have a splitter for it, so if I do this stuff my anything on my laptop and I need an internet a Ethernet cable, how it will go is one end of this one over there and then that end will plug into the computer. Then the second end right here will go wherever it needs to go. Like to my computer or maybe to an Xbox, stuff like that. I'm guessing you guys can find it probably even better, probably not, but I recommend Asus because I love Asus. It needs to be 21.5 to 25 inches of an LED black light widescreen computer monitor. It doesn't have to be LED, I'm just saying it has to be good enough, but it has to go have really, it has to be, I recommend it being an Asus and it has to be good quality. It has to cost $125 or less. I have a 3 feet HDMI cable that will go from the Roxio. All the way up to my computer. So the Roxio is going to record any of the gameplay I have on my computer, and then like you'll get better than that. So I want a Roxio because I see I love Roxios. So, but the two should work perfectly. And if I don't use Roxio on my computer and I use it like on my Xbox, then I'll just hook the three feet into the into the HDMI cable in between the monitor and send straight to the computer, and I'll take out the Roxio on the other HDMI cable. But it should work. So that's all I have. Um, I'm just gonna review this quick, but I have my motherboard here. I have I have my motherboard for $120. It's MSI 970 gaming DDR3 2133 ATX and AMD motherboard. Um, I'm pretty sure I have 600 watt power instead of a 550 power supply. Tell them if I do because it's probably gonna be needed. I have a Sport 16 gigabyte kit for RAM, DDR3, 1600 MTS, and I have an Intel Core i7 4790 processor. I want an i7 core, no matter what, I want to get it. An MI, I have an MSI Computer Core Operation, NVIDIA, GeForce, GTX, 750 Ti Gaming, OC, 2 gigabyte GD, GDDR5, VGA, DVI, HDMI, PCI Express video card. Now, I don't know this or not, but I would love if you guys can answer this or not. If you have this video card, or you look it up and you're really good at research, because I'm not as good at it all the time, tell me whether or not this can, between the motherboard and the video card, tell me whether or not they can express, they can use sound. Because I don't know whether or not I should get a sound card or not. Because I heard that you, you sometimes you need a sound card. I don't know if I should get one or not. I have an Asus Black 12X video, a Blu-ray drive ROM. Or DVROM or CDROM, or internal Blu-ray drive, you know, whatever. I'm getting a SUS for it because I love the SUS, but you can probably find one better that isn't a SUS. And if you can't find a SUS and it's better than $55, tell me. It has to be Blu-ray though. I don't care if it's a Blu-ray burner, it just needs to be a Blu-ray disc, gaming disc, and DVD disc. Um, uh, I'm getting a Sensei computer case. I recommend this one because it just looks awesome and sick. It's got LED lights that are shining there. Now they're blue and not red to go with my gaming desk setup, but it's okay because I love blue and I love red and I love black. I'll mix them if I want to mix them. Who cares? It's my setup. Ah, sorry about the burp there, but who cares? It's my setup. It's going to look awesome. So that's all I have for my Amazon stuff, crap, whatever it is. I guess I wouldn't call it crack because it's awesome, but tell me whether or not I should... Okay, I have two main questions. Is this a comes with water cooling ready? I said this in the last video, but I seriously do not know this. Does it say it... it does it mean it already has water cooling in there, or it can... You can put water cooling in there. And, um, not, not only that, but also... 
since I'm building this computer, of course it won't come with an operating system. And I want Windows 10 on there badly. So does that mean I either buy Windows 10 or buy Windows 7 or 8 and then I download Windows 10 with that? Or can I install that for free? Because I heard that Windows, I have Windows 10 on my computer now because I upgraded it. But I know that's free if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8. I don't know how it is if you don't even have any operating system whatsoever. So you should tell me that so I don't end up buying a computer and not have any operating system on it for a couple weeks. So basically, thanks for all that, guys. Um, if you have any tips for me, put it in the comments below because I'm probably gonna need them a lot because this is my first computer build ever. And as I can, and make it the desktop setup as best as I can. So leave me comments below if you like this video, like if you um, smash that like button if you like this video. Subscribe for more great content. It'll get better. Just wait, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.